what's going on youtube this is marcus and i am back i have another topic i wanted to kind of talk about and get your get you guys' input on um but i hope everybody is doing well i hope everybody has had an awesome and amazing week happy sunday to everybody um but before i get into what i want to talk about i want to i want to put this disclaimer out here so that people who come to my channel are not confused Yes, I am a Christian, but this is not a Christian channel. And so what that means is that there may be some topics or some video videos that I put out where some of the things that I'm, I discuss are not always going to be um, quote unquote Christian topics or church topics. I usually would. Main, especially when I talk about things that are going on in the blogs and the media, normally I would um, focus on those type of things because of my background in the church. It's easier for me to kind of give my thoughts and opinions about certain things versus when it has to do with people outside of the church. Not to mention the fact that a lot of these people that, that be in the blogs nowadays, I don't really know a whole lot about them to where I feel like my opinions would be sufficient to whatever the situation is um so yes there may be times where i may come on and talk about a particular topic that is not considered quote-unquote churchy sometimes you know i i i i've i've been in church for for years for since i was 16 um and so I have a little bit of experience, quote unquote, of the world. Um, I wasn't raised up in church. You know, a lot of times when people are raised up in church, they kind of shield it from things outside of church. Well, that's not my experience. I have had um, contact with the outside world, if you will, prior to, I mean, even, you know, still being in church. And so um Sometimes my opinions or the things that I say are based more off of a personal experience. It's not always going to be based off of scripture. Um, and I wanted to put this out here because the last video, what well, I don't think it was the last video that I did, but the video that I did where I was talking about the situation where Usher had got jumped at Chris Brown's birthday party, somebody had left a comment. I can't remember exactly how they put it, but they put a comment pretty much trying to tell me that because I'm a Christian, I shouldn't be talking about, you know, I shouldn't have been talking about that particular topic. And so I'm giving y'all this disclaimer. I'm putting this out here. This I am a Christian, but this is not a Christian channel. I make some of the some of the topics and discussions that I put up will be church related or, bibl you know, uh, Bible related and sometimes it's not um, and it's interesting because this particular topic it kind of hangs in the balance between the two so I was watching a clip on Facebook where T T Kirk and Tammy Franklin were doing an interview and they were pretty much asked um, how do they feel about people living together prior to marriage oh excuse me now I, I did not watch or listen to the full interview. Um, and I and and they do have a show coming out called The One, where I think pretty much the basis of the show is they're gonna have these people who are considering committing themselves to each other. They're gonna come in and move into this house and pretty much kind of see if they can handle, you know, being in a long time relationship. I don't know if the couples are talking about getting married or if they just want to you know commit themselves to each other um and so i'm assuming that that's probably where that question came from because you know one of the one of the things that the church is still very big on is people not living together um people not living together while they're married and so i'm pretty sure that that was probably where that question came from although on a lot of the previous interviews that Kirk and Tammy have done, they did mention the fact that this is not a Christian uh, dating show. Um, but anyway, so 
I will let okay let me get my thoughts together so let me just get this out of the way the Bible speaks clearly about having sex prior to marriage I don't I could be wrong but I don't think that the Bible um, says anything about people living together unmarried however if you are in a relationship with somebody and y'all are living together 99.9 times out of 10 9 times out of 10 they having sex and so to avoid that they just a lot of time they just tell teach you not to live together unmarried period um now personally is that something that I would do probably not um but on the other hand I do also kind of feel like that's a good way to kind of figure each other out if you will um to see because everybody's different the way they uh how can i say it the way they the way they live their life i guess you can say is different um when you know when it comes to cleanliness you know organization and things of that nature and so i kind of feel like if you live together it kind of helps you um i guess you could say get used to how the other person lives i hope i'm making sense like i know what i want to say but i can't put it into words but i feel like living together would help you to kind of um just kind of get used to how the other person lives um because i do feel like a lot of times when people you know moving together after they get married and then you know there's all these different arguments about whether you know this person left the cap off the toothpaste or this person you know you might have one person in a relationship that as soon as they walk in the door they take their shoes off by the door where the other person in the relationship that may bother them um so yeah that's but that's the reason why i was saying that this topic kind of hangs in the balance between church and non-church because of course the people of course the the the, the church or the religious is going to say y'all don't need to live together at all where the other side is may say you know I think it's a good way to kind of get uh, get used to the other person and 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 how they how they live. <sighs> I really should start writing down my thoughts because I actually had planned on doing this video like a week ago and I had had everything that I wanted to say in my head and now I'm drawing a blank. Um but yeah, let me, that's one thing I would ask y'all, um, whether you are a Christian or not, because I do realize that everybody that watches my channel is not a Christian. Uh, but whether you're a Christian or not, how do you feel about people living together prior to marriage? And let me also s specify this. This topic was more so geared towards people who plan on getting married. So it's not like y'all just moving in together just to live together. Like these people are people who actually plan on getting married. So, like I said, that's my question. How do y'all feel about people who, um, you know, live together prior to getting married? And if you, and if you were one of those people that lived together prior to marriage, do you think that it helped? Um, and if you were somebody who waited until you got married to move in together with the other person, do you think, do you think that that helped or do you kind of maybe feel like, I don't want to make nobody feel like they going, like they sinning, but do you kind of feel like maybe you probably should have went through a trial period just to see, um, but anyway, yeah, y'all leave y'all thoughts and comments down below. I thank y'all for taking the time to tune in. 
also be sure to give this a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to the channel um, and also hit that notification bell so that y'all will be able to be notified whenever i post content to this channel um, and i will talk to y'all later